I'm kind of uh, greedy in art because I want to do all kinds. I want to try all kinds of music, you know. And uh, people often ask you, so what, what is your favorite? I think my answer is this. I think whatever I'm doing at the time, that would be my favorite. I listen to a lot of uh, traditional Jewish songs, and I also listen to Jewish pop songs. I use a plate, and, and you know, the plate is the you know maybe American theater music, uh, uh, or maybe pop music, or even Chinese pop music and uh, Jewish pop music and theater music. That would be the the foundation, and then when you put the melodies on top, so it's like a it's like a plate containing two different kinds of food. <laughs> The use of multiple languages is a feature of this musical, but at the same time, it was a real challenge. I, I debated to myself, should I, you know, like one song in English and one song in Chinese, you know, like <laughs> one song after another like that. But then I find it, I find it difficult because sometimes they would uh, have conversations. We would have conversations through songs. I just need to make make sure one phrase ends and another phrase comes in, you know. So whether you, you're Chinese speaking or English speaking, you, you need to hear, um, you know, the respective, you know, language. The, the main character, Frank, you know, when he went to the factory to help Lin Yilan's brother, that process is the challenge. He came from a place where uh, he felt that he lost everything in the world and he doesn't understand, you know, why, right? You know, the world is at war, but it affects common people like him. Across the ocean, you know, and he met Lin Yilan and, and her brother, and when they asked him for help, he realized all the way across the ocean, on the other side of, of the world, there are people just like him, and they're in agony. During the singing process, he realizes, you know, uh, any kind of turmoil or pain that he has gone through, it has a purpose. And in his life, the purpose of all the pain that he has suffered has brought him here so that he could help others. But when I'm doing musical, um, every character's emotions is expressed in another way. You know, because you, you, you do have lyrics and, uh, and you have to sing, you know. So sometimes uh, when I, you know, when I, when I compose it, you know, I, I would sing the melody myself, you know, just to get a feel of it. So when I'm doing that, you know, I, I felt that there's nothing better in the world. <laughs> I think music is uh, what brings out the emotion behind it. I, I think uh, when we cry or, or when we laugh, it's because we ran out of words. You know, our, our language, the actual words, you know, are, are limited. And I think music can convey the joy, the pain, and the suffering, you know, and, and, you know, and the encouragement, you know, without saying one word. Some people uh, told me, uh, they, you know, although they didn't understand the language, you know, they totally understand, you know, the, um, you know, the, the inner turmoil and the strength of the song. So I think, I think that's the advantage, you know, of music, you know, whether we're telling a Chinese or Jewish story. America, you couldn't get to England. You couldn't get to any of these places because we had no passports, we had no visas. And soon, word got around very quickly that there's a place in the Far East... When I watch uh, the documentary called Shanghai Ghetto, they describe the experience, you know, uh, you know, of the Jewish people just walking out of the ship and see Shanghai Hong Kong for the first time and I, th I, I think one of them described it as like it's like you're, you're on a different planet and it's so different from Europe. I think it's easy to think that you know the, the Jewish are refugees you know they must be all oh, very poor and, and, they, and, and they suffered a lot well some of them did but, uh, but actually they came in waves so the earlier immigrants were actually sort of the, the upper class, you know. They find that the living conditions for the Shanghai people is worse than them. So I, I think that really, that really struck me and, and, and that is exactly why 
the idea of understanding how similar we are more than how different we are i think it, that is more important in the story for me story itself is important to show anywhere in the world you know um, although it's about chinese and the jewish people i think what happens between them you know it's it, you know that that understanding of pain and turmoil and harmony that that's global This is to us. It, it is only a beginning. You know, the the, sh the the show has run in China. You know, we've performed many times in China already in different cities, and um, we again, you know, we are trying to expand ourselves and try to find a global audience. Right? I, I, th uh, I think we are planning to take it to Israel uh, next year. You know, and uh, hopefully. Uh, you know that will also be a very um, you know important experience because in a way uh, for that story you know it, it kind of goes home we hope one day it, it will have a um, you know a wider will it'll gain a wider audience in, in New York and anywhere else